Let's explore Office 365's Clutter feature. Clutter is a feature that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to take the messages that you're not as interested in and classifies them into a folder that it calls Clutter. First, let's turn it on. In the top right, I'm going to click on my settings gear, and then I'm going to come down and click on options. Now on the left side of my screen, I'm going to come to underneath mail and choose clutter. Now it's going to state to me, when clutter is received, I can either choose to separate the items identified as clutter or don't separate them. As I want to turn the feature on, I'm going to choose to separate them, then save my changes. Now my changes have been saved. Now I can go back. I now have a new email from the Office 365 team. When we read this email, we basically see that it states that I've turned on clutter and when things are identified as clutter, they're going to be moved to the clutter folder. So first let's identify something as clutter. Here we have a newsletter that I received that I'm realizing that I'm maybe not reading as often as I thought I might initially. Now let's say theoretically I've tried to unsubscribe a few times, but for some reason the, the list server maybe isn't uh, responding as quickly as I'd like. So I'm still getting messages. Well, until they get it figured out on their site, I'm going to identify this as clutter. So I'm going to right click on this message and I'm going to mark it as clutter. Click and now it's gone. It's actually down here in a folder called clutter. When I click, I see that the message I just identified as clutter is here. And then I have the opportunity to mark this as not clutter. This could either be because I mistakenly marked something as clutter or the AI for clutter misidentified it. If I want to identify that this is not clutter, I'm going to click this icon here to state that this is not clutter. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to leave this here. Now, let's say additional newsletters come in from this location. And again, this is just an example. IT White Papers is actually a pretty cool service, but I'm just using this particular message as an example here. All future messages that come in with similar attributes. Maybe it looks at the links here, maybe it looks at the sender, it looks at a number of different things. It will start identifying these things as clutter and putting them in this folder. Now from time to time, as I get additional time in my day, I'm gonna to come to this folder and I'm gonna try and teach the AI what I perceive to be clutter and what I don't perceive to be clutter. After using this for a couple weeks, you're gonna teach the AI exactly what you perceive as clutter and what is not, and it shouldn't need you to teach it any further. It's gonna be pretty good. This is gonna help you keep your inbox clean and free of distractions and keep you focused on work.